Good morning, my friend, and welcome to your morning yoga practice. My name is Peter Lyons. It's an honor and a privilege to be with you here today. When you're ready, come to a comfortable seat. Sit nice and tall. Bring your hands to prayer at heart center and close your eyes for just a moment. Take three deep breaths all the way in through your nose and all the way out the mouth. Relax your shoulders, breathe in through your nose. Out the mouth, becoming present. One more time, inhale through your nose. And exhale out the mouth, feeling grounded and centered. Gorgeous, open up your eyes, inhale, reach the arms up over your head. And then exhale, bow forward, crawl your hands forward and bring your forehead towards the mat. But you don't wanna round, round, round too much. Think of pulling your heart forward so the shoulders can come down back there. Good, take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Breathing in and out through your nose now. Inhale, you might go a little farther with the fingers. Exhale, relax the neck. Nice, one more deep breath in. And out. Nice, stay low, crawl over to the right side, bringing your nose towards your right knee and then pull the left sitting bone back and down toward the mat. The left fingers, you wanna take them a little bit further so you get a nice long side stretch along the left channel of the body. Take a breath in through your nose, relax the shoulders. And exhale as you twist, fold. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good, one more deep breath in. What are you creating in your life right now? And a breath out. Nice, stay low, crawl over to the left side. Once you get there, the nose goes towards the left knee, ground your right sitting bone, and crawl the right fingers a little bit further forward. Inhale, lengthen, twist. Exhale, fold, relax the shoulders for one. Inhale, what are you letting go of in your life right now? Exhale, what's no longer serving you that you're gonna release? One more deep breath in. And a breath out. Sweet, inhale, come back to the center one more time. Inhale. And go for it as you exhale. Lifting your chest back up as you breathe in. Switch the cross of your legs, other shin in the front. Sit tall as you inhale. And then exhale, twist to the right. So you can grab the outside of your leg with your left hand and put the right hand behind you. Lift your chest, breathe in and then look to the right behind you as you breathe out. The right hand is helping you to lift your spine. Inhale. Exhale. What's your intention for today? Breathe in. Breathe out. How are you gonna show up today? Breathe in. You can't control other people. Breathe out, but you can control your reactions to them. Inhale, come back to the center. You got it, switch sides. Exhale, left hand behind you, and the right hand holds the outside of the left knee. Inhale, lift your chest, lift the crown of your head. Get tall, and then exhale, twist around the center axis of your body, look behind you, breathe in. Breathe out, relax your shoulders. Good, inhale, wring anything out. Exhale, that's stored up along your spine. One more deep breath and lift. And exhale, twist. Awesome, back to the center, inhale. And exhale, use your hands. We're gonna come to a tabletop position. So maybe you roll over the knees. You can also push yourself forward, or if you need to just sweep the legs around behind you, that works too. Come to hands and knees in your tabletop position. A few cat cows here, so as you inhale, tuck your toes. Lift your chest and roll the shoulders back as you look up. Go the other way, exhale, tops of the feet press, round your spine and gaze toward your belly button. Again, inhale, lift your heart, roll the shoulders back and stick your tail out, look up. Exhale, rounding, gaze to navel, draw the belly button in and tuck the tailbone. One more, inhale, rolling up the spine and then exhale, rolling down the spine. 
back to neutral as you inhale. Take your hands, bring them about six inches forward here and spread the fingertips nice and wide. We're getting ready for down dog. So the elbows, notice, we don't want them to the sides, we want them to come back. So bring the elbows back and then straighten the arms out. They're not locked, they're very, very subtly soft. And then tuck your toes, start to lift your knees and lift the hips up and back. And then as you push your chest back toward your thighs, start to push the knees back using your engagement of the quadriceps. Good, so the fingers are still spread, the palms are pressing, the triceps are rotating back. That's gonna help you to relax the shoulders away from the ears, soften the sides of the neck, and you're looking toward your belly button there. Now drop the chest back a little further towards your thighs, draw the navel up and in, but then knit the lower ribs in. Now the thighs are strong, pushing the knees back, and you're lengthening the heels down towards the floor. Good, take three deep breaths all the way in. Breathe all the way out. Breathe in. Feel your sides expand. Breathe out, feel your chest go back to your thighs a little bit more. Strengthen the legs, one more deep breath in. Feel your back rise. And exhale, the chest goes a little closer to the thighs as you push the knees back. Awesome, come to plank pose. Inhale, roll the body forward, and then put your knees down as you exhale. Just like we did in cow spine, start to arch your back, lift your chest, and then bend your elbows so you can put your chest and chin on the ground in between your thumbs. Cobra pose, inhale, put your pelvis down, point your feet, lift the chest up. And then stay here, just roll the shoulders back and you're pushing the tops of the feet into the ground so the knees might even lift up so that the legs are engaged and find a little back bend here. If you want to, you can bring your hands a little bit wider and then use your fingertips to help you get into the back bends there, rolling the shoulders back, gazing forward. The ankles, they kind of want to go away from each other. Try to engage them towards each other and then lift the heart up and through. Take two more breaths here, all the way in through your nose. All the way out. Breathe all the way in. Out. One more deep breath in, lift. And then put your forehead down as you exhale. Awesome, inhale, put your hands underneath your shoulders and then exhale, tuck your toes, push your seat back to your heels, and then lift up to downward facing dog. Gorgeous, inhale, step the right foot forward in between your hands, find a lunge. And then lower the back knee as you exhale. So low crescent lunge, you can untuck the back toes, climb the leg if you need to, and then reach the arms up overhead. Start to look up and lean back. If you need stability, push the left foot down into the ground as the hips go forward. So there's a back bend here that's opening the front of the left hip crease. It's the psoas there that gets really tight from sitting because it's in the shortest position. We're opening up the shoulders and the upper back. You can even interlace the fingers and point the index finger and then push the pinky side together to drop the shoulders. Nice. One more deep breath in here. And a breath out. Great, place your hands down on the floor. Tuck your back toes, lift the back knee, and then step back to downward facing dog. Pedal it out. Do the other side. Inhale, step the left foot forward in between your hands, and then lower the right knee as you exhale. Climb the leg, inhale, lift your chest and reach the arms up. Exhale, you can lace the fingers, release the index, finger, and then lean back as you push the hips forward. Now the right foot, again, you can push the top of the foot into the mat, and that's gonna give you some stability there. Two more breaths, all the way in. Breathing out. One more deep breath in, lean back. And exhale, place your hands down on the floor. I like to go wide because it opens up my chest. Inhale, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Exhale, down. Dog, step back, hips with distance with the feet. Take one deep breath in here. And a deep breath out. Beautiful, spread the knees, put them down. 
Untuck the toes, bring your toes to touch, and sit back on your heels. Find child's pose. If that's too much on your knees, you can try bringing them together. And if that's still too much, you can roll up a blanket or a towel on the back of your knees, and that'll take a little bit of the pressure off. So rest your forehead on the mat, crawl the fingertips a little bit further forward, and then relax the shoulders. That's your practice today, my friend. Thank you so much for joining me. Stay here for a couple minutes if you can. And remember, daily practice is the key. It's not what we do once, but if you want to change your life, you have to change the things that you do every single day. So if you like this video, make sure to bookmark it, check out some of the other ones that you have available on my channel and some other teachers' channels as well. And until we meet again, from my heart to yours, namaste.